supposedly this range mate microwave cooker can cook things from frozen so we're going to go ahead and give it a try today so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be cooking this frozen hamburger patty it's just a pepper blue cheese hamburger patty so i'm going to put it right in the bottom now every instinct tells me there needs to be liquid in here from all experience in the microwave you don't really cook from dry the manual doesn't say anything about putting liquid in there when you're putting in frozen meat as a matter of fact it states right down here where it says feature three that the uh, rapid cooker performs the best in waterless cooking so I'm a little nervous about this but that's kind of the indication there that I'm getting so we're gonna do four minutes on one side flip it over and do four minutes on the other Let's see how this goes. All right, it's been in there for the first half. Let's go ahead and get ready to turn it over. Eh, not so much for grill marks, but it is cooking. I went ahead and adjusted for three minutes on one side, and I'll do three minutes on the other, and we'll see how that does. Okay. See how the other side came out. Ooh, that side browned up pretty good. Oh, my um, hamburger bun is done. I toasted it. So we're going to go ahead and put our meat thermometer in here and see if we got up to the 160, which is what I'm looking for. It made it up to about 143, which would be uh, rare, and I really like uh, my hamburger to be closer to medium to medium rare. So the minimum I'm looking for is 150. So what I'm going to do is put the lid back on, and this should hold some residual heat, and I'm just going to leave it on the counter for several minutes and see if it can get up to that 150 while it's sitting in there resting. That worked a charm. It made it up to 154 while it was sitting here. So I will take that, and I also just put a little cheese on there to melt as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out and get it on a plate and let's see how it did. So I'm looking for a meat that is not dried out and has some juicy elements to it which is not what you expect from microwave, but all right, let's see. So it is cooked all the way through. You can see that. Let's go ahead and have a taste. Mmm. It is juicy. My focus, sorry about that. So it didn't dry out. If I can get in here and show you, let me get up close. But when you put the uh pressure on here you get a lot of juice coming out of there so it did remain pretty juicy so all right I guess this thing did a good job on this hamburger so I'm going to go ahead and get it on the bun that I toasted and prepared and put on the pickles I sliced and I'm going to have some lunch